Thank you very much, Dr. Spearman, and thank you for your leadership, uh, for the leadership of your board and so many people here who are really making it happen. Uh, it is great to be here at Rock Valley College, and I want to thank everyone for hosting us today uh, for your commitment to educating the next generation of electric vehicle manufacturing talent. Your students here are exactly the smart and forward-thinking people that we need to lead us in the new green economy. To Mayor Clint Morris, thank you for helping uh, to make known to Illinoisans everywhere that if you want to get trained for good paying manufacturing jobs of the future, you can start right here in Belvedere. The Reimagining Electric Vehicles Act was a product of bipartisan collaboration, and it wouldn't be possible without the determined leadership of our General Assembly, people on both sides of the aisle. So thank you to Senator Steve Stottleman, to Representative Dave Vella for championing this legislation. A special thank you to Senate President Don Harmon, who has joined us here today, to Speaker of the House Chris Welch, and to all of the legislative leaders in both chambers who pushed this bipartisan achievement across the finish line. That includes people sitting behind me, Leader Marcus Evans, Leader Dan Brady, Senator Ann Gillespie, Senator Doris Turner, Senator Dave Severson, Senator Christina Castro, Senator Don DeWitt, Senator Maddie Hunter, and Representative Maurice West. Uh, thank you again to all of you for the work that you've done. I also want to recognize our partners and our advocates in this effort, the Illinois Manufacturers Association, the AFL-CIO and Organized Labor, the Illinois Environmental Council, the Sierra Club, and so many more. And I also want to recognize our director of the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, who's with us here today, Sylvia Garcia. I'm also thrilled that Jim Chen and Corey Urshow from Rivian uh, and uh, Nate Baggio from Lion Electric and representatives of Stellantis and ChargePoint, TCCI and Ford have joined our celebration today. Their investments in EV innovation are what inspired the Reimagine Electric Vehicles in Illinois Act. With this bill, we intend to attract more EV manufacturers, charging station manufacturers, and automotive parts manufacturers more than ever before. And it will help Illinois become one of the leading EV hubs in the entire nation. With this new focus on electric vehicles, our state can also become a leader in the clean transportation revolution electric school buses, electric municipal buses, electric delivery trucks, electric 18-wheelers, and so much more. Not only can we lead in the fight against climate change, we can also create thousands of jobs for hardworking Illinoisans in the process. I'll be the first to admit that my goals for our state are ambitious, but we are backing our ambitious goals with tangible policy solutions that address our challenges and seize our opportunities. Just two months ago, I signed landmark legislation to increase clean and renewable energy production, which saved thousands of jobs in this area and kept our nuclear fleet operational. It also makes our state the first in the Midwest to require 100% carbon-free energy by 2045. It creates new job opportunities for our diverse workforce, and it sets historic standards for utility ethics and accountability. And if that's not enough realized ambition, in a few minutes I'll sign this Reimagining Electric Vehicles in Illinois Act into law, making clear to the world that Illinois is open for business and on track to be the best place in the nation to manufacture and drive an electric vehicle. I want to be clear that even before these new incentives are put in place, Illinois was already an attractive place for EV manufacturers. We're home to the nation's best infrastructure. We graduate the second highest number of computer science engineers in the nation. 
We have top tier national laboratories, engineering schools, and business schools. We are the nation's epicenter of shipping and logistics innovations. And we have the most talented manufacturing workforce in the nation. And with yesterday's signing of President Biden's historic Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, Illinois will receive $149 million to expand our statewide electric vehicle charging network. We are eligible for yet another $2.5 billion in grants for EV charging stations in addition. This pivotal moment demands urgency and it demands responsibility. It's no secret that transportation is the leading source of climate pollution. So we're incentivizing green economic development. It's good for business and it's the right thing to do. The Reimagining Electric Vehicles Act is about acknowledging that there doesn't need to be a trade-off between a cleaner environment and more jobs. We can do both. And today we take a giant leap forward in that quest. So thank you, and with that, I'd like to introduce truly one of the leaders in this effort, someone who has uh, advised and made possible uh, this very important new law and made possible our quest to create jobs in this new green economy, and that's Senate President Don Harmon. 